When you look back on your life, okay, and you think about the school days, don't you think that at the time, it was probably, for me, one of the, the worst times ever, okay? It was something that I had to do, which I loathed, unless it was drama, art, or games, okay? and break time where I could just have a laugh. And then when you get a little bit older, you think to yourself, actually, do you know what? It, w it really wasn't that bad. You know, you get up at eight, you go to, s you, you stroll into school at nine o'clock, you finish at half three or whatever time it was, okay? It was pretty cool. Yeah, in comparison to sort of nowadays where you gotta go to work, clock in, clock out, and all that sort of palaver, mate. Okay, but these children, these children might, think otherwise. These children, when they're old and grey, will probably look back on their school times and think, how horrifying was that, mate? Okay? I never ever want to think about it ever again. The world is literally going crazy. I don't know what's going on, man. If you know me by now, I'm mostly a skeptic, all right? I would say 90% skeptic. I'm all for the proof. If you show me proof, all right, 100% proof that I'm I'm okay to believe. I'll be a Justin believer, mate. All right? Or a believer, whatever it is. <laughs> okay? Something happened in Colombia. It's in Team Biki in Colombia, right? 36 children all got possessed of some sort because they did a Ouija board. It affected one girl and then like some sort of virus and infected 36 other children. By the way, this didn't just happen and then, you know, they get a slap on the wrist, don't do Ouija boards, sponge on the wounds, off you go to the next lesson, please. No. 36 students got hospitalized from doing a Ouija board and getting possessed. You could write this shit, right? Okay, hysteria at school as 36 students hospitalized after playing with Ouija board. Teachers and family members had to help 36 children at San Francisco de Isis School in Timbiki, Colombia. If I've ruined that name, I'm sorry. Reports say that children were admitted to a local hospital for treatment for a number of concerning symptoms, including fainting, temporary loss of sight, and anxiety. Let's just go back. Temporary loss of sight, ladies and gentlemen, okay? <laughs> right? They went blind. What, what, what's going on here, mate? Is that is that a good enough reason not to play with bloody Ouija boards? Before they left school, rector Emilio Balanta sprinkled holy water on the group, was heard muttering a prayer. Like, just, like, this is just an everyday occurrence for him, you know? Just flap around some holy water. There you go, mate. Just chill out. You'd be all right after that. He said it was a very unusual phenomenon which occurred. A little girl started to struggle, so the others grabbed her so she wouldn't hurt herself, or hit herself, sorry. Then another girl started to have the same problem. There are 36 students. They are all children of all ages. That is what is believed. It was a diabolical situation. There is no explanation for what happened. There is none. Some say it was because of the Ouija board, and others because of the online challenge they found on the internet. There are two versions, but no one has verified it yet. We had to take them to hospital, but they are now around 90% recovered. Some still certain symptoms, but nothing major. What's going on in these schools where they like, does everybody have random Ouija boards in every classroom? Right? Get the maths book. No, not maths. We did that yesterday. Get the Ouija board. What's going on? So we're going to look at the video, okay? But remember, guys, if you are sensitive to this sort of stuff, especially when it's to, with, with children, okay? Don't look. Because it is messed up, mate. It is absolutely messed up. <laughs> Just flapping around like casual as you like, mate. I'll get the holy water, mate. It'll be all right. Flap, flap, flap. What's going on? <laughs> Look at the state of me. Unless they just trying desperately, they've just huggled around, right? Unless they're trying desperately, they've just huddled around and said, Look, hey. I can't be asked for school today. Let's all get possessed, mate.
I mean, this has got to be so traumatic for these kids, you know, and also for the onlookers. Just like, what the hell? Imagine going home and explaining that to your mum and dad. So there you go. Um, basically, don't do Ouija boards, okay? Because it affected, like dominoes, 36 students and they're all hospitalized. They went blind, okay? Don't do Ouija boards, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.